Casey was traveling home from college in San Luis Obispo. They said she was going about 55 miles an hour and that the 18-year-old drinking driver was traveling about 100 miles an hour when he hit her head on. We lost Casey several hours after she was airlifted to the hospital. In the weeks that followed, the question that I had was where did this 18-year-old driver get alcohol? He wasn't old enough to buy it. So clearly an adult participated in the crime because they either gave it to him or sold it to him. And that was a crime. And they needed to be held accountable for the results of that crime as well. The questions Lynn Goodwin asked eventually brought together a diverse group of agencies to create TRACE, a protocol for investigating drunk driver crashes involving minors. We're here at a facility where vehicles are kept during investigations into serious crashes. It's here that we sometimes see the tragic results of underage drinking and driving, and it's one of the locations where ABC agents conducting TRACE investigations come in search of evidence. TRACE stands for Target Responsibility for Alcohol-Connected Emergencies and involves backtrack investigations for DUI crashes, alcohol poisonings, sexual assaults, and other serious incidents where minors and alcohol are involved. The intent of the program is to determine if an alcoholic beverage has been illegally sold or provided to a minor involved in a crash or major incident resulting in death or great bodily injury. Many cases begin here at the Alcoholic Beverage Control Office okay. with a phone it. call to the Trace Hotline, a news report, or social media source. Okay, we just got a call from the police department. They have a fatal crash involving a teen, and the officer on scene thinks alcohol may be involved. This sounds like a Trace case. We need to go down to the impound lot and take a look at that car. It's great when we get these calls early, because then we stand a better chance of finding some good evidence that's going to help us trace the source of the alcohol. This is sometimes real tough, seeing the results of drunk driving crashes, especially when kids are involved. This is the car here. It was an underage driver, got into a head-on collision with another vehicle, and uh, unfortunately the other driver didn't make it. We found some items in the car that suggest the driver was under the influence of alcohol, um, and we called you guys, thought you might, might want to take a look. Okay, yeah, we'll take a look. I see some beer bottles here. Can you take a picture of that? What we look for is evidence that might help us trace the source of the alcohol. Things like a receipt from a liquor store, beverage containers, cell phones, or other items that can lead us to where the alcohol came from. Yeah, we should go interview the employees at that liquor store. They have with me. I love them. And another Cosmo. Uh, can I see some ID too, please? Oh. I don't have it with me. I lost it. I'm sorry. She's over 21. Yeah, she's. ABC can discipline a business that sells alcohol to a minor. <laughs> or hold accountable anyone who provides alcohol to a minor. All right, guys, here you go. See you the river. Sweet, man. Thanks. Agents might also interview witnesses, friends, or family members in the field, at a hospital, or their homes. Do you recognize the person in that photograph? Agents can review surveillance footage at liquor stores and interview employees at places where the subjects may have been drinking. Social media sites, cell phones and cameras found at the scene or provided by family members may also help solve the trace case. With diligent investigative work, a successful trace case can end here at the courthouse with the prosecution and conviction of anyone or any business involved in providing alcohol to minors. But it takes a lot of people in the community working together to make it happen. The TRACE program is a collaboration between diverse law enforcement groups and social service agencies all working together. In addition to these organizations, citizens also have an important part to play in helping to prevent these types of incidents. I believe it's the responsibility of every community member to get involved in solving the problem. There are a number of things that you can do, such as attend town hall meetings, talking to local law enforcement and supporting their efforts, not providing alcohol to young people, and supporting educational efforts that help everybody understand that underage drinking is a problem to all of us. ABC agents have participated in many successful investigations since the TRACE protocol was first established in 2004. The bottom line is that one death is one too many. The TRACE program is designed to help prevent injuries and deaths and hold people accountable for giving alcohol to minors. It can also bring closure to families affected by these tragedies.